praise God. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are in this world. I just want to encourage somebody just for a few minutes. Psalms 23 verse 4 reads, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. God is your comfort today. The word of God says, even when you go going through your valley and your shadow of death, fear no evil because God is with you. I want to, I stop by just to encourage you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you can stand still and watch the salvation of God. Because he said, even when you go going through your valley and the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil because God is with you. I stop by to encourage someone today to say, fear not, for God is on your side today. I want to just use a couple of words from the word of God. Matthew 18 and 18 says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Luke 10 and 19 says, Behold, I have given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by, by any means hurt you. Psalms 27, 1 and 2, it reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. I encourage you today in the word of God that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are facing, but the, the word of God declares, but they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. I want you to trust in the Lord today, even as Proverbs tells us in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. But in all your ways, we must acknowledge God and allow God to direct our path today. No matter how the storm may rage, no matter how dark it may seem, I want you to know that yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you must fear no evil. Know that God is on your side. Know that God will bring you out. Know that God will deliver you today as you trust in him today, as you abide in his word and his word abide in you, as you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, I've given you power over the enemy and nothing by no means shall harm you. Why? Because you are trusting in God's word. Your faith is anchored in the word of God. I stop by just to encourage you, my brother, my sister, my friend, to hold on, not to give up, not to throw in the towel. Know that God is with you, for he has given you power today. I say rise up in the name of Jesus Christ and use the power that God has given you. He say greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. His word declares that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against us in judgment, he give us the power to condemn it. Isaiah 54 and 17. So I decree and declare today that you stand on the living word of God and you use the word of God as a bench mark and you allow the word of God to lead you, to guide you, to order your steps and to direct your path today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray your blessing. I pray your healing. I pray your victory and I pray your deliverance as you abide in his word and his word abide in you. As you hold on his word and allow his word to steer you, to guide you and to direct your path today. Use the word of God today. That is your weapon of prayer today. That is your weapon of warfare today. Use the word of God in the name of Jesus. Let the word of God be a lamp to your feet and a light to your pathway. God bless you. God strengthen you. I just stop by to encourage you today in the name of Jesus Christ. That in Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. You be blessed. You be encouraged as you run with this word in Jesus name. Blessings to you all.